What's going on guys? It's your boy Siobhan here back with a new video. I have some good and bad news. So obviously you can see from the title that a jailbreak has been released. I wasn't gonna make this video until I saw some of you guys tweeting at me and also commenting that there has been a jailbreak release if I'm gonna make a video on it. Now this is for the people that are not sure about what's going on at this very moment. So basically there's a new jailbreak out right now and it's called Phoenix. You can download this by using City Impactor and also using an app called Tweetbox which I'll talk about later on. Now let's dive in to how this jailbreak came about. So it's basically from developers called Sigua and Themestar. They recently released this jailbreak tool and it's only for iOS 9.3.5 and specifically 32-bit devices. Now, like I mentioned before, 32-bit devices meaning that it's only available for the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 5, the iPhone 5C, the iPod Touch 5G, the iPad mini, the iPad 2, iPad 3rd gen, and also the iPod 4th generation. Now, all of this comes with the Phoenix jailbreak. So if you have one of these devices, this is your happy moment. This is the best times of your life because you can know jailbreak and every I iPhone 7 user has to chill out with iOS 11 or iOS 10 and we're stuck with those jailbreak. Another thing you guys should know is that this is a semi unfettered jailbreak. It's nothing bad. It just means that you'll have to reopen the app and will jailbreak your phone every time your device rebooted. So a tip for you guys is never let your battery drain out and do not reboot your phone if you don't need to. If you go onto the website guys, you can see that you could have a lot, you have every instruction step by step on how to get it with CD Impactor by using the IPA. So what you need to do is download the IPA onto your desktop or laptop, whatever you have, run CD Impactor, drag the IPA onto CD Impactor, connect your device and everything and then you run the program it's simple as that you'll get the phoenix app on your phone you then have to open the phoenix app once it's installed on your device then the jailbreak process will be started please back up your phones before you try this jailbreak because uh, every jailbreak is not 100 percent safe back up your phone before you proceed no as i said before you could also get this with tweetbox i tried before it's not installing at this very moment maybe by the time i upload this video it will be running. Now, in order to get Tweetbox, you could just search Google. For example, you could just type in Tweetbox. Hopefully, I'll leave a link down below for you guys. And all you need to do is download Tweetbox right here. Very easy. You'll bring it through the install process, hit allow. Then you go through the install process. You install it on the phone, enter a password if you have one. Then you'll be installed wherever you had space on your iPhone. Now, once it's finished installing, you could just go into the app right here, let it load. It's basically a web-based ba web app. So it's basically like you're in the browser, but it's in an application format. Once you're here, you want to go to apps, scroll down until you find Tweetbox apps, then scroll all the way down to the P. So here's Phoenix, hit Phoenix, hit install. Then it would install the app just like what you do on your desktop, but it's installing and signing through Tweetbox at this very moment. Now, that's basically it for this video, guys. So if you're running a device that is 32-bit and is compatible with this Phoenix jailbreak, this is your happy day. As I said before, you deserve a cookie because I don't know why you have a 32-bit device, but God bless you because you've been granted a jailbreak. So as I said before, you guys, make sure that you're safe, back up your devices, and have fun. Always love, peace, and tweaks. Signing out.